Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Xenon Protein X. So in this tutorial video, I'll show you how to uh, get any antibody sequence information in details information about any antibody uh, sequence in, in immunoglobin sequence by using NCBA Blast. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel in my channel Xenon Protein X. So in this tutorial video, I'll show you how to get in details information about any antibody sequence and also any therapeutic antibody that's available in the market. So if you have the sequence of that specific antibody, so you can get in details information about it. So for that, you have to use NCBI Blast that you already know that because i already have some videos on ncba blast so for that you have to type ncba blast and you have to go through this website and uh, if you scroll down so you can get there are different kind of options there are several options for different kind of search and out of it you can get one option uh, that is igg blast ig blast so this is specifically for immunoglobin search and T receptor sequences right so for that you have to click this one and then you can find one box here where you have to insert your desired sequence so for example I want to get information about this drug this is at nivolumab this is anti PD1 an FDA approved monoclonal antibody this is the anti pd1 this already in the market so i am to get information only this heavy chain part so for that you have to copy this one and paste in the in this box so there are some points to be noted this is the two sequence you can get so for that analyze immunoglobin sequence you have to click here and for t cell receptor sequences you have to click this one right so uh and there are also other options so these options you have to also go through so here if you have there are different kind of organism if you have different kind in a mouse or rat sequence so you can you can search accordingly so for me this is the human sequence so that's what i just go for only with the human and other parts you can just keep it as it is and here also the program you have to change also if it is if it is protein and then you can change this is the protein sequence right and other things you can keep as it is no problem so then hit search so after that you get this kind of information you can this kind of information that is um, that is is matching is matching with 92% uh, identity with uh, with their their with the query sequence so this is different kind of query sequence query sequence one and uh, from this part and this part and this part so here you can get in this box you get very useful information so if you see here uh, cdr1 this is uh, from 26 to 33 base pair so if you if you go through um, the query sequence the query sequence is uh, this is 90 90 sequence long this is the nightly 90 nucleotide residues here so this part is cdr1 this part is cdr1 and this part is cdr2 and also it's showing here um, the the cdr3 part cdr3 part is 97 97 from uh, this is only one length one nucleotide sorry one um, amino acid so uh, 
so if you go through accordingly so you will get the what is the uh, cdr1 cdr2 and cdr3 part also there are there are a lot of information about it if you want to search this one so you can also click so this is the this is refers to the IMGT germline gene entry you can also go through that one and also it's showing uh, who, what kind of what kind of sequence it is lambda kappa also uh, this different kind of information also is here <laughs> So, all right so so by this way you can get uh, different kind of uh, cdr1 cdr2 and cdr3 mostly you will get and also um, other um, sequence other RF sequence also you will get as well uh, okay guys i think this video will be helpful so thanks